Let's talk about how to manage state in simple view applications. We used to use uh, Vuex for this, but uh, for simple to medium application, we don't need to use uh, Vuex. All right. So if you go ahead and see in Vue.js API, so there is an API called Vue Observable. What Vue Observable will do is uh, when you, when you write object inside data, it is used to make that object reactive. Uh, with use of that, what we can do is we can write a small store like scenarios to use in our app so if you are building a very small application like uh, two three pages or two three components you can use this method to uh, have your state instead of going with vx all right and yeah uh, props drilling is always very hard right so you can do that for, for that it'll start with uh, cleaning up app.view uh, let's delete the image and let's go to components hello world still use we'll still use the hello world and let's say the template should return our data right so let's start with hello inside app we don't need the props props message right so that's all we need now if we go ahead and see we see the hello message right so inside source and i'll create a store.js store.js this this is where we are going to write our store logic so here we import view from view all right and we'll export a variable export const let's say number equals view dot observable as i mentioned it says object right so we need to write in our subject now uh we 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 are written that we dot observable right this count is now reactive let's check that out all right so go to hello world that view instead of saying here uh, we should say count to use that we need to write the computed property so computer and and let's do an account count it says return number dot count this number dot count is coming from here this number dot count so we need to import that number from store import number from store if you go ahead and see we have this one sure enough you know that right but is that reactive let's check that out let's write a button so that we can check whether it is reactive or not increment all right let's do and a click we will increment that out. all right increment okay uh, let's write a method method and say increment which will increment number dot count by one number dot count plus plus all right and this should work as well if you go ahead and click the increment actually i need to refresh here if you click that uh yeah this is incrementing right so that is working if you don't want to write it here we can write it here as well again and after this you can write export const number no decrement uh, equal to a function uh, which says number dot count minus minus again what we can do is we can use uh, decrement and let's say decrement computer property which says return decrement all right us now after clicking this one let's create a button which says decrement and let's check whether it is okay sure enough it should work i yep uh 
this is very simple as that so you let's break this component as another component saying that count dot view where we write our count logic here all right so let's copy everything here actually paste this here and close the div and close the template actually we have to use our number and store here number store here right let's copy everything here and say here and close the script tag or scroll script and we can use pretty much use everything we want let's actually come use this computer properties here all right so copy it here we should need to close both and we don't need to decrement here and we don't need number here actually we are using number here right so we need number here so instead of saying this what we can do is we can say count all right so import count from count uh, let's write a component all right that should work as well cool this is a simple store structure but if you want to uh, behave this like a global store we can do that as well if you are a fan of writing the syntax this dot store dot something like that we can still achieve that all right for that we'll go to main.js and use it here let's import number from store and use in view dot prototype view dot prototype all right view dot prototype will uh, insert that variable globally in our application let's say store equals number okay and now pretty much we can do everything we want so let's uh, we can remove all the logic here i mean we don't need this here actually instead of saying return number dot count we can say this dot store dot count all right and actually we are not using count here right let's cut this out and inside count dot view we are using that all right so let's copy it here now it should work actually we don't need this as well we have that uh, global object right so we can use that store dot count and in hello world dot view for decrementing there still we can you do this dot number actually we have to change this to method all right and for increment this dot store dot count plus plus which is incrementable it will increment that all right for decrementing things we can use decrement decrement and this this dot store dot count minus minus which should work as well now again now the code is somewhat cleaner we don't have any logic of moving around if you go ahead and check it should work still thanks for watching in video we will do something big in the next video thank you